peace and all good. I'm Sister Fran Hicks, a member of the School Sisters of St. Francis. I spent several years in ministry with the people of Paita, Peru in South America and Ciudad Juarez, Mexico on our Southwest border. As a missionary, I have directly experienced how much your support means to the School Sisters of St. Francis and the people we serve. Now, it is my pleasure to share with you the news of some of our missions around the world. I hope that what you see and hear will touch your hearts as it has done mine. The vision to start a CZ special school in Bangalore, India, became clear after our sisters, working in the poor villages of India, saw a special needs child restrained to a tree to keep him safe while his parents went out to find daily work. The sisters soon discovered that this child was not the only one who needed daily specialized care. With six children in 2009, a CZ special school began. At first, it shared a building with another school, but soon outgrew this space due to the needs of the families from remote villages in the area. Now, a CZ special school occupies its own building, built to the needs of the special needs children. Over the years, Assisi Special School has helped hundreds of children with intellectual, cognitive, and physical impairments to attend school, achieve greater independence, and reach full potential. Asha Bhavan, translated as House of Hope in English, was founded in Bangalore, India, by our sisters from St. Francis Province in North India. Our sisters operate Asha Bhavan to provide a loving home, nourishing food, medical services, and compassionate care to around 24 destitute, mostly elder women who have been abandoned by their families. Many of these women are bedridden, mentally challenged, or extremely fragile in mind and spirit after having been abandoned. If not for the services provided by our sisters at Asha Bhavan, these women would be living and dying on the streets of India. Our sisters provide these women with help and hope, enabling them to regain not only their health, but also their sense of self-worth and self-respect. The sisters from our Latin American province founded Oasis Franciscano Riete in San Marcos, Guatemala, as a response to the need for healing in the aftermath of the violence of the Guatemalan Civil War. The sisters and staff at Riete provide a place of safety and hope, especially for women and children of diverse ethnic backgrounds. Most families of San Marcos live in dire poverty and suffer from malnutrition. They have no access to medical care other than what they receive at Rieti. One way that our sisters are able to keep costs low for the people they serve is by cultivating the plants that are used for natural medicines in their own greenhouse and medicinal orchard. At Rieti, the focus is always on treating each person with dignity. 
Because of this, our sisters and Rieti's staff enjoy a high level of trust among the local people. They know that they will receive psychological, physical, and spiritual healing through the loving and respectful treatment of the sisters and staff at Oasis Franciscano Rieti. In 2014, three sisters from our Assisi province in South India traveled to Tanzania and began the School Sisters of St. Francis presence in Africa. They made the arduous journey to their destination after accepting an invitation to teach at a parochial school. Upon their arrival, the sisters needed to learn the local language. Then they were able to begin teaching in the school while also providing pastoral care to the village families. Responding to the needs of this mission, our sisters even dug a well to provide clean water to the entire village. We are grateful to God that several local young women are studying to become school sisters of St. Francis, ensuring the future of our Tanzania mission and our service to the people there for years to come. Guadalupe Homes, located in Santa Apollonia, Guatemala, was founded by the Sisters of our Latin American province in response to the needs of orphaned and abandoned children. Our sisters and faithful staff care for the daily needs of these beautiful children, giving them the experience of a loving home. The children receive both primary and secondary education at local schools, as well as training in practical skills like carpentry, tailoring, and domestic arts. Guadalupe Homes even has a working farm, so the children gain first-hand knowledge about what is required to be successful farmers. All of these educational opportunities prepare the children of Guadalupe Homes for life when they leave the orphanage someday. No matter where they go, these children will always be part of the Guadalupe Homes family. We ask for your support for the mission work of the School Sisters of St. Francis. First and most important, we ask for your prayers. And if you have the ability to do so, please consider making a donation to the School Sisters of St. Francis for our missionary work all around the world. Your gift will make a forever difference to the people of God that our sisters serve. Thank you, and may God bless you.